This is the high school student athlete profile. Thanks to Kelly Burt Dozer. Today we're visiting with AM Consolidated softball player Kristen Kaiser. Kristen, thanks for hanging out with us today. Um, what class year are you at Consol this year? I'm a 2018. Okay, so just a sophomore. Yes. How many years have you been on the varsity softball team? Were you on it as a freshman? Yes, ma'am. This will be my second year. Okay, great. And Kristen, what number do you wear? I'm number two. Do you currently play any other sports at Consol? No, ma'am. Just softball? Yeah. All right. Did you play other sports growing up, or has it always been softball? Yes, I used to do competitive cheer. Oh, I did okay. cheer for our school last year, but okay. it's too hectic. Now, have you ever lived anywhere else, or were you born and raised in College Station? I was born here and raised here. All right. Do you have any siblings, Kristen? <laughs> yes, I have a younger brother. Okay. Do you think he looks up to you, even though you're a girl? Oh, definitely. <laughs> How old is he? He's 13. Okay, so he's not in high school yet. No. All right. Now, you guys will be in high school together yes, eventually. next year. Next Next year, what is that going to be like having older sister here at the school with him? Well, I'm definitely going to make fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a hard time. Yes. I like to hear that. Um, now, does he play baseball? Yes. He okay. Does. So, do you think you playing softball? He kind of looks up to you as a role model. Yes, definitely. Um, what about anyone else in your family? Did anyone else play softball or baseball? Has it kind of been in the family for a long time? Yes, my mom played softball for A and M. Oh, so. very cool. Yes. Okay, great. Now, who would you consider your biggest influence? I know you just. Made your mom and that may be it but is there anyone else that you kind of consider your personal hero yeah pretty much my mom yeah. she's like taught me everything I know about the game pretty much up until this point so okay. are you kind of the same player that she was yes I got my speed from her definitely so okay, okay. now Kristen how old were you when you started playing softball I think I started playing t-ball, however you old you are when you play that. Yeah, like four or five, yes. probably. Okay. What's one of your first memories you have of the game? I remember I wasn't very good. <laughs> Took a lot of practice. Yeah, yeah. Did mom really encourage you to yes. stick with it? Okay. You mentioned that you used to cheer. In any way, did that help you as a softball player? Yes, I definitely learned to push myself a lot harder than I probably would have. So Yeah. Do you ever regret not cheering anymore? Not really. Yeah, you still get to cheer in the dugout, yes. right? I'm sure you bring a lot of skills into the dugout. There you go. What position do you play in softball? Center field. Center field. What's your favorite part about being the center fielder? I like for having priority over everybody. Yeah. I like knowing that if I can get there like better than they can, I can call them off and get there. Yeah, yeah. What's the hardest part about playing mm -hmm. that position? Having to call people off if I can get it. <laughs> yeah, same thing, kind of making the decision of whether yes. you can get it or if it's better for someone else. Along with practice comes off-season, time in the weight room, conditioning. Would you consider yourself a pretty hard worker off the field as well? Yes, I think Coach Slayton has really pushed us this year. In the past years, I think we really haven't had a very good off-season, a very, like, mm -hmm. I don't, didn't can, do a whole lot. Can you see that translating to y'all's performance on the field? Yes, a lot. We all, we get, I think we just respect Coach Slayton more for like pushing us harder and mm -hmm. stuff than we have been in the past. So, yeah. Kristen, personally, what is something that maybe in the weight room or you know even during conditioning, what's something you've really worked on becoming better at? People have doubted me in the past about mm -hmm. being able to actually like stand there and swing. I've had teams that'll pull in and barely be on like the edge of like the dirt because they think yeah. I can barely hit it. Yeah. So, so definitely in hitting and strength, that's really been yes. a big priority for you. What about just in the game of softball? What's something maybe defensively that you've worked on even more so this year? Having to stay a lot more focused. These games are kind of um, slow this year. Okay. With such, having such a young team, our games yeah. go kind of slower, so you have to really stay focused for yeah. a lot longer. You can't be picking flowers out yes. in the outfield, right? Um, what about something offensively that you've really worked on? Seeing the ball better. We've had a lot of, like, facing a lot of good pitchers this year, okay. so you have to really see it and know what your pitchers are that you can hit. Right. This is the high school student athlete profile. Thanks to Kelly Burt Dozer. We're visiting with AM Consolidated's Kristen Kaiser from the Tiger softball team. Kristen, if I asked your teammates to describe you, coach mentioned you're a captain. What do you think your teammates would say about captain, Captain Kaiser? <laughs> um, ooh. What do you hope they would say? I hope they'd say I'm a good captain. I hope they say I know what I'm doing. Okay. What qualities do you think make a good teammate? I think positivity, like really like bringing each other together and pulling each other up when we mess up or do something that we knew like we screwed up on, like just 
as only a sophomore, do you feel like there's a lot of pressure on you, even though you know you are young? You're, this team is young, so do you do you feel the pressure of being a leader? Do you like being in that role? Yes, I do. It's definitely a lot different than I had to do with last year. Last year, I was just the only freshman on varsity, like kind of just like my opinion didn't matter or anything. This year, I'm having to make a lot of decisions right. to like. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. But are you embracing that? You yes. said you enjoy it. Good. Yes. Good. Now, over the years, you were, you know, and this doesn't have to be just from high school because I know you're still pretty young. You probably had some really great plays, some really great games. Is there one that really stands out as your favorite? Um, well, a couple weeks ago, I hit my first home run. Oh, that's awesome. So, over yes. the fence or in the yes. park? Yes. Okay, over yes, the fence. Yes, so it was exciting. I got to prove everybody wrong. That was standing up in the dirt thinking I was barely going to hit it. <laughs> that's awesome. Congratulations. Now, you've already mentioned Coach Slayton a couple times, you guys having more respect for her and you know this is her first year at Consol. what positives has she already brought to this program um we work a lot harder definitely this year we actually our practices are more like efficient we actually get a lot more done last year was kind of came out through a little bit went home <laughs> yeah yeah now it sounds like she's doing a lot for you guys on the field does she also push you to be a better person and a better student off the field Yes, I always see her going to English class, and she's always like, how are those grades, Kaiser? <laughs> always making sure you're on the grades. That's important. Now, what about um, looking over your whole softball career? Which one of your coaches has made the biggest impact on your game? I think he wasn't a main coach, but it was actually a girl on our team's dad. She co coached okay. our team for a while, Coach Steve. Okay, yes. okay. So he taught you a lot about the game and yes, stuff? Yes, it was more like – just the confidence I needed. I've never had the best confidence when playing, okay. but he's always there now in the stands too, saying, yeah. you got it, Kristen, you got it. Yeah. That's awesome. Now, I want to talk a little bit about school. What's your favorite subject? Probably math. Math? Okay. Yes. What's been one of your favorite classes to take in high school so far? Probably geometry. Okay. <laughs> Kristen, are you involved in anything other than just athletics in school? Any organizations or clubs? Um, well, I do competitive softball. Okay, okay, yeah. What tournament team do you play for? I play for the Texas Intruders. Okay, yeah. great. And where side do you... Fair intruders. Side fair. Do you guys yes. practice out of side fair? Yes, we do. So I want to talk to you a little bit about this because, you know, being a teenager, being in school, playing softball and playing on a tournament team, it's a lot. You know, yes. what kind of motivates you to just keep going and, and keep sticking with it? Because it's a lot of time commitment. Yeah, it's just fun to come out here. It's kind of like whenever you get stressed, it's just a good play. It's a good release to come out here and just kind of hang out with all your best friends and play the game you love. This is the high school student athlete profile. Thanks to Kelly Bird Dozer. And we're visiting with Kristen Kaiser from the AM Consolidated Softball Team. Kristen, um, do you have any aspirations of playing softball in college? Yes, I really want to. My mom played at AM, so I kind of, that's yeah. what I want to do. Would you like to play at AM too? Yes, I would, but I've had mixed feelings. I don't know if I want to get out of college station or player my mom did well you're only a sophomore so you have plenty of time to think yes. about that now um when you aren't in school and you're not at softball practice what do you like to do for fun relax for sure yeah, <laughs> as, much time, as much free time <laughs> as i can get i like to just chill okay what's your favorite type of music to listen to i like a mix of everything okay. yeah i like to listen to a lot of country with my mom and is there anybody that you're really listening to a lot of right now any favorite artists just everything. Okay. Um, Kristen, what's your walk-up song this year? I've t changed it every game so far because oh, I want to okay. just wait till I have a really good game and I'll keep it as that song. <laughs> okay, so you're mixing it up. Yes. Um, what kind of movies do you like to watch? Any type of genre that's your favorite? Oh, I love comedy movies. Comedy. I love laughing. Okay. Um, what about Guilty Pleasure TV or Netflix show? Anything that you love Netflix? to watch? Netflix? Oh, I love One Tree Hill. One Tree Hill. Yes. Oh, that's such a good one. Have you actually watched all of the seasons yet? Or are you Not still in the middle? Okay. Yes. Okay. I just finished Gossip Girl too. Gossip girl is really good <laughs> another good one um Kristen who's your favorite celebrity probably Kim Kardashian okay <laughs> so you're a Kardashian fan um if you could this may be the same answer if you could trade lives with somebody for 24 hours who would you switch places with Ooh, that one might be different okay you don't want to be you don't want to be Kim I would no she's to. under a lot of pressure <laughs> <laughs> if I could change with one person and it doesn't have to be a celebrity it could be anyone I don't know, it'd be probably somebody that can sing really good. I've always wanted to be able to sing. Okay. Probably like Selena Gomez. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Um, now I'm going to switch topics to food. Which, uh, what's your favorite restaurant in town? Ooh, probably Wings and More. Okay. What do you order whenever you go? 
like a four piece chicken strips. <laughs> I love the chicken strips, that's awesome. What about at home? What's your favorite home cooked meal? Um, I like when my dad cooks steak for us and mashed steak. potatoes. Oh, oh. Nice home cooked meal. Yeah, that sounds amazing. What about dessert? Do you have a sweet tooth? Yes, I love pizookis from Bazooki, or I love BJ's pizookis. Yeah, what's your favorite flavor? <laughs> Just chocolate chunk. Chocolate chunk. <laughs> yep, that's awesome. Um, okay, so we talked about you wishing you could sing. Do you have any other talents besides just softball and cheer? I'm guess. Do you still tumble? Do you still do any yes, tricks like I that? I love tumbling. Still <laughs> tumble around the outfield at practice. <laughs> Coach is probably like, "Oh my God, yes. stop! You're gonna break she something." Comes out here, she yells at me about it, but. <laughs> Can't, can't take the cheerleader out of you, can you? <laughs> okay, now um, you talked about wishing you could sing. What talent show would you love to be on if you did have the ability? Ooh, I want to be on The Voice. We're almost done. I want to play a little bit of a little game called This or That. I'm going to give you two options, okay? You just pick one. Okay. Sunflower seeds or bubble gum? Sunflower seeds. Sunglasses or a visor? A visor. Defense or offense? Offense. Gatorade or Powerade? Gatorade. Hot dog or nachos? Nachos. 40 degrees or 100 degrees? 100 degrees. <laughs> Walk off home run or game saving catch? Ooh. Probably game saving catch. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen, wrapping up, you know, we've talked about how young this team is and how you guys still have a lot to do, but what makes this program so special? Why do you love being on this team? I just love how hard everybody works. We know it's going to be a hard season, but nobody's really given up yet. Mm -hmm. And I don't think anybody's going to. And Kristen, you're only a sophomore, but when you finish your career at Consol and it comes to an end, what do you hope people think about you when they look back on your time here as a Tiger? I hope I impact the program in a positive way. I hope people look back and say they want nine positive Kristens on the field. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Kristen Kaiser, thank you so much for hanging out with us today, and best of luck this year. <laughs> thank you.